are alive with birds here in this part of Australia, visited by very few Australians. We're on North Keeling Island, deep in the Indian Ocean, in the Cocos Keeling Island group. And the fact that very few humans visit here means that bird life has proliferated. North Keeling Island features in this episode of Travel Oz. Hello, I'm Greg Granger. Newborn boobies and frigate birds. Rescuing orphan chicks and the remains of a German warship sunk in Australia's first naval encounter. The remarkable story of North Keeling Island coming up. Also ahead, back to Birdsville. A bush race like no other, as the two teams discover. And an Aboriginal owned property in the Kimberley, where you can muster cattle and catch a fish with every cast. Get a bite there, David. idea of what a wilderness we're about to arrive at. There's no airport, there's no helicopter pad and there's certainly no jetty. So we have to boat ashore, put our camera inside this drum to make sure it doesn't get wet and there'll be a break just before we get to the shoreline. We'll have to swim those last few metres. Quite an adventure ahead. This atoll sits by itself, isolated in the vast waters of the Indian Ocean, meaning big swirls roll onto the shores most days of the year. On many days, heavy weather prevents anyone getting ashore. Although today, the swell is moderate, meaning we should get our inflatable close to the beach without getting too wet. Only in the last few metres do I need to jump into waist-deep water to hold the inflatable and bring our barrels ashore. It's here our National Parks Ranger, Mohammed Syed John King, prepares to show us around North Keeling Island a place where permits to land are only allocated to a few people every year. Wow, Mohammed, is this the best island you've ever been on? Yes, yeah, I, I've, been to, uh, I've been to other, you know, small island like this, but this island is, is one of my best. It's... What a job you have. You're the ranger here. You get to come across how many times a year? Well, uh, at least uh, seven to ten times a year. And when but... you come across, people coming here have to be escorted by you, the ranger. Yes, uh, that's depending on what we're doing. If we come here to work, uh, mainly just us. But if we actually to come here with tourists, yeah, and we have to actually give them the tour guides. A lot of bird watching groups come here. Yes. And yeah. certainly plenty of birds. You're about to show us those. Yes, yeah. And, and, and there's so many birds uh, on, on this island. I think there's, there's about 60, over 60 species of birds recorded on the Cocos Killing Island. But there's about 14 species of birds actually breed and nesting on the Pula Killing National Park. This is the only island, out of those 27 islands on the, uh, on the Cocos Killing Island, this is the only island that the vegetation, it's almost like 100 years ago. Mohammed's keen to show off his favourite creatures on North Keeling Island. It's such a rich and diverse natural wilderness, it's been declared a national park, the Pulu Keeling National Park. For starters, there are the crabs. Hermit crabs have inhabited shells all over North Keeling. Their distinctive crawl can be seen from the beaches to the rainforest floor. On the mud flats, larger brown crabs forage. Look carefully across those same mud flats and you'll see tens of thousands of small mud crabs emerging from their burrows. While few humans visit North Keeling every year, it does have an interesting history. Back in the First World War, the German warship Emden was beached here, with its boilers still intact on the shoreline. In Australia's first naval battle, the Battle of Cocos, the SMS Emden was hit by a torpedo from the original Australian destroyer HMAS Sydney. Before that, 
The Emden had raided Allied shipping in the Indian Ocean, sinking or capturing 30 Allied merchant vessels and warships. 